After all the stops we've made so far, you've probably already noticed the cluster of beautiful houses on Francisco Sosa Avenue and throughout this area. This is no coincidence. In the late 18th century, and especially throughout the 1800s, this area of Coyoacan became a summer retreat for Mexico City's wealthy and politicians. The mild climate during the summer, the presence of the river, and the abundance of orchards with flowers and fruit trees attracted the attention of those families who could afford a summer residence near the city. It should be emphasized that at that time, it was important to leave Mexico City during the summer season since the lack of hygiene in the streets and the heat made living in the city an unpleasant experience. In addition, during the rainy season, the streets were filled with mud, garbage and debris, making them impassable, and even more so when a drizzle flooded what we now know as the historic center. Then the well-to-do families and their servants would leave the city for temperate destinations without the health threats caused by the generalized poor hygiene. As a result, Coyo Akan became a place of rest and recreation for the city's aristocrats and wealthy. One of these summer houses is located at Francisco Sosa Avenue number 409. Listen to the following story. General Manuel Gonzalez de Cosio Tomeo was an outstanding Mexican military man, companion in arms of Porfirio Diaz, who served as governor of his native Zacatecas, as well as deputy and senator, secretary of government and war, and municipal president of Mexico City. All these appointments allowed him to lead an affluent life during his mature years. Thus, between 1891 and 1895, he built his country residence at this number. The general could not have chosen a better place. A few meters away, the waters of the Magdalena River flowed. Such a sensation was written in the novel The Bandits of Rio Frio, where its author, Manuel Peno, described the bucolic atmosphere. Before reaching the town of San Eno, there is a river with little flow in the dry season but well supplied with water in the rainy season, most of the time crystalline and noisy because of its bed of loose and round stones, with its banks always covered with yellow, red and blue wild flowers. This beautiful landscape that we can see to the left was also painted by the artist Eugenio Landicio and his disciple, the famous Jose Maria Velasco. Let's leave the landscape and return to the house of General Gonzalez de Cosio. The house is a magnificent example of the French influence architecture that became fashionable during the Porfiriato. The work of engineer Jose Ramon Ibarola Berriocos, this house combines the forms of a Tyrolean chalet with those of French neoclassicism, highlighting its large terrace where the general's family could enjoy the summer evenings. The house combined iron, zinc, and wood, materials whose combination was highly appreciated at the time. It should be noted that its author, Iberola Berriocos, is best known for the famous Cuisco Morisco, which represented Mexico at the New Orleans International Exposition in 1884 and is currently located in the Santa Maria La Rivera neighborhood. The manor of this house and its gardens were also the site of an important event. In 1895, the daughter of General Gonzalez, Mrs. Luz Gonzalez Cosio and her husband, Dr. Fernando Lopez Sanchez Roman, founded the Mexican chapter of the Red Cross. That institution no longer operates in these walls for a long time, but is a foundational part of its history. The general and his family had a special interest in contributing to the benefit of society. So in 1906, the reformatory for women was opened in the back of the property 
after being divided, whose mission was to channel women who had committed crimes by offering them the opportunity to learn trades and the possibility of education. 